Welcome everybody to another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing. My name's David and I fish inshore and offshore showing you what I do to find and catch fish. So if that sounds appealing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. We would love to have you a part of this growing community. So I'm out on the Grady today, the next day, and the reason is, is when I got back to edit um, yesterday's video, I realized I had an SD card problem and lost all of my footage from the boat mounted camera. So everything you're about to see is from this chest mounted camera. But it's an exciting video and I wanted to share it with you. I caught a really nice red snapper and I finally got that gag grouper that I've been searching for for several episodes. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to start out with this 80 gram vertical jig and this is 60 pound mono. Oh, got him, got him, got him. All right. Yeah, it doesn't feel like our monster or anything, but this was basically our first drop. Let's see what we've got here. A uh, foul hook trigger fish. Now these triggers have been abundant recently, mostly smaller ones, and we'll get a keeper one mixed in there from time to time. But uh, let's get him off and get him back down. All right, so I wasn't getting much on that uh, vertical jig other than that foul hooked trigger fish. So I've got this other jig. I've never tried this before. This is a two ounce bucktail type jig, but it's got this kind of flat head. And so supposedly, you know, it's gonna fall. And since it's got that flat head, it's gonna kind of flutter, you know, as it's going down. Plus it's kind of light, so it'll kind of fall slower. So we'll see if that can entice some action. While that's, while I'm doing that, I've also thrown out um, a free line here with just a piece of cut cigar minnow. I'll try to keep my eye on that and see if that doesn't pull up a um, kingfish or something like that. Red snapper is out of season, so I'd rather it pull up a kingfish, but a lot of times these free lines will pick up red snappers. But uh, we'll get this jig out and see if we can't get that grouper. All right, so no luck with those jigs. So I'm going to throw this chicken rig out here. This is a um, made up with 30 pound test and three alt circle hooks and little pieces of squid. So I'm gonna see if I can't pull up some Tom Tates and get some live bait out there for those grouper. Oh, oh, here's a good one. Wow, all right. Wow, here's a real good one. Man, this just hit the bottom and I had him. I mean, he lost a little bit of his spunk, but man, he had a good initial run red snapper yeah he had a good initial run he kind of gave up a little bit but nice little snapper got to get him back though oh man here we go here we go got him off this is the whoa man got to tighten up my drag i have my drag loose oh man now this is on the whoa Wow, this is something good. All right. Oh man, what have we got? I got the jig over here. Oh man. All right, get it out of that rod. All right, this is on the free line I had out there. And this is something good, everybody. Let's see if I can get him up out of this reef. He took that good run because I had a looser drag because it was just sitting there. Man, let's see what it is. Man, I hope it's our grouper. Could be a big red snapper. In that case, we'd have to throw him back. All right, he's coming up now. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a big red snapper. Oh, everybody. Man, this is a heartbreaker. Wow. Look at this red snapper, everybody. Look at this red snapper man and he's got to go back but he was fun to catch let's get a measurement on him get him back out there all right everybody he's 27 and a half check him out nice red snapper nice red snapper unfortunately we got to let him go it's not Friday or Saturday or Sunday, we can't bring him back for some good eating for several meals. But let's keep fishing and see if we can't pull something up for the box. 
Okay, got him. Got him. Oh man. It's a little bit bigger than that other trigger fish. Let's see what we've got. Well, this was my first drop really at this new reef. I'm gonna put down this chicken rig kind of just to see what was down here. Wow, this has got some good weight to it, everybody. What is it gonna be? Is it a big trigger? Wow. Man, that's a big trigger fish. Big for what we've been getting anyway. Let's see if he's a keeper. He's about as close to being legal without being legal as you can get. That's, I don't know, eighth of an inch too short or less but nonetheless he's too short so let's go ahead and get him back oh oh here he is oh this is on the chain all right got him got him got him got him all right oh man let's get him out of the reef all right man all right it's on the jig let's see what we got oh come on grouper come on grouper all right man oh he's taking a run man man it's a amberjack man these amberjacks will pull about five times their weight but it almost looks like an almaco but it's a it's an amberjack so we need to get him let him back Oh man, right off the bat. All right, so this is our third reef. We've moved out a good bit deeper and I was showing some good marks. So I threw out this chicken rig, really kind of hoping to get a tom tate, but I've got something nice. I imagine it's a red snapper, but oh, maybe it's a good trigger. All right. Well, decent trigger. He's not gonna be a keeper. So let's go ahead and get him back. Oh, got him again. All right. Oh. Well, I guess this is trigger fish. It's about the same size as the other one. I mean, they've got some good pull to them, that's for sure. And this little light tackle. This is just a 5,000 pin battle. And I think a medium heavy Talus PX rod by Shimano. So, yeah. Well, my other hook got broken off, my top hook. Let's get this guy off and get him back down. Here we go, y'all. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, he doesn't feel as big as that other one. But this is a cigar minnow on the free line again. Uh, let's see if we can get him up. I've got my jig out over here, too. I'm going to watch out for. It looks like we are coming on this side. There's some color over there. He's kind of coming up. I wonder if it's a king mackerel. Let's see. Oh, we got a red snapper. Man, why couldn't this be the weekend? Uh, let's get him up. Got my jig over here. All right, another red snapper, everybody. Too bad he's got to go back, but this would be our limit for red snapper today. But let's get him out. Let's get him off the hook and get him back down. Oh, here we go. All right, here's on the jig again. A little weight to him, but oh, I think it may just have been a trigger fish grabbing it. Seems like all the 
the bites we're getting recently is just trigger fish. Now that's another little red snapper. But we'll keep trying this for a few more minutes. All right, little guy, let's get him back. Here we go. Here we go. Let's bring him over here away from the other rod. All right. Uh, a little bit bigger than that trigger, but certainly not that big hoss of a grouper. Uh, it's another red snapper. Yep, another red snapper. Nice one. Might have been legal. Definitely on the smaller side. Let's go ahead and get him back. All right, I'm gonna switch it up. That jig, you know, so far hasn't pulled up a grouper. I'm not exactly right on the reef either. So what I'm gonna try to do, I've got these Bonita strips from a Bonita I, couple, I caught a couple trips ago, and I've got a um, standard knocker rig on here. This is a um, 80 pound leader and this is a um, six ounce sinker and an eight ounce circle hook with just this Bonita strip set on it. And I'm just gonna put this down onto the bottom and see, you know, what that brings up. Man, and right off the bat, these triggers got that whole Bonita strip off in a matter of eight seconds or so. So I don't know if that's worth it. Really need to try to get on this reef a little better, I think. So I'll try this one more time with this Bonita strip and then maybe kind of go back to those jigs. I have swung a little bit. I'm seeing what I think is the reef down there. So let me get a jig back out there. That'll really target the grouper or, you know, amberjack or big snapper, hopefully a grouper. And, uh, you know, keep us from wasting all our bait on those trigger fish. I know there's grouper at this spot. I've caught one keeper size um, not too long ago, but it was right before the season opened. We've caught some smaller ones on this reef too. So hopefully this jig will do the trick again. Oh, oh man, here we go. All right, here we go, here we go. Tighten up the drag, tighten up the drag. All right, this is on the, the free line out here. Oh man. Oh, geez. Man, we've got something big here. Yeah, hopefully, it, this is when I'm, hopefully I'm not on the reef actually. Oh man, I've got my engines up. I was trying to get the boat over on the reef a little better. Uh, sometimes the engines up helps me drift. Man, oh, this is a light tackle. Oh, come on, man. This is on a, a clap piece of cigar minnow. All right, Let's see if we can make some headway. Mm. All right, I think we probably are clear of the reef. Just now I'm not gonna try to work him so hard for fear of tearing his mouth or something like that. All right, come on grouper. Come on grouper. All right, I think we're about to come up. Oh, it is a grouper. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh man, look at him. Yes, I got my grouper and he's not even in the mouth. He's through the eye. Check him out. Look at that. Look at that. I got him in the eye, not even in the mouth. And he stayed on the whole time. Look at this grouper, everybody. This is what I was targeting today. And it paid off. Yes. Yes. All right. Man. Well, let me get all this undone and check a weight on or a measurement on him. Look at this guy, everybody. 
he is a little over 30 inches almost a 30 and a half inch gag grouper this is what we came for and we got him oddly enough it was on the half piece of cigar minnow on the free line out there and I was working the jig at the same time but he comes up and eats the free line cigar minnow check him out everybody well let's get this guy in the box he is going to provide my family and friends with several meals of tasty dinners all right so as you can see we had a great day you know our target was that gag grouper and we finally got him at the end of the day but it wasn't on the jig or even the alive tom tate or the bonita strips that I ended up trying it, it actually happened to be on that free line with the dead cigar minnow so it just kind of shows you know when you're out there especially by yourself get a couple things out there whether that's something on the surface or something on the bottom to increase your chances to catch fish so if you enjoyed this video, I would certainly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way to help me to continue to create these videos. So until next time, I hope to see you on another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing.